Hey, how's it going? This is Chris. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be a follow-up to a previous video where I showed you how to use JSON inside of a Gatsby project to generate individual pages dynamically. So if you haven't seen that video, I'd recommend watching it at least for the setup so that you can get the data set up in the same way that we've got here. Uh, make sure you check out the Gatsby config and the package.json to see the different dependencies that we've installed and how we've set them up here to get this going. Um, I'll link that in the notes below. So assuming that you've watched that or that you uh, are, are familiar enough with the process to get going from here, what we're going to do is use this individual data. Right now we've got it set up where there are individual pages for each of these products we want to make a general products page that will display all of our products. So I'm going to run Gatsby develop. Obviously you'll want to have a Gatsby project of your own, whether or not it's from that last video is up to you. But again, that'll, that'll help you follow along with this. If you've got that set up the way that I do. So if I switch over, I've got graphical pulled open. And this is going to help us shape our, our query here. So what we're going to be looking for is this all merch JSON. We are going to grab the nodes off of it and then the price slug and title. And then also to display our image, we can grab the image child image sharp. We'll do fluid. And then for this, we're going to use a fragment. But in here, uh, they don't show up. So we can grab what child image sharp fluid and then um, we can just grab source. And then if we hit this play button, we can see that the data is showing up the way that we want it to. And I like to leave graphical open so that I can continue to see kind of the shape of the data and remind me like, oh yeah, nodes is an array and I need to map through this to access this data, but we'll come back to that. So just to show you again what's going on here, we've got just our, it's just a blank home page. This merch page has not yet been developed. And so what we want to do is show this men's tea and ladies tea on the same page. So if we click on men's tea, we've got that and the ladies tea, but we want to have just an overall merch page. So what we can do is hop back over into VS code in pages. We can create a new file called merch.js. And then to show you how similar this is to our merch page template, we can actually grab just about all of this, copy it over, and then just change up the query a little bit. So this query is using GraphQL, we're using Gatsby image, and then we've got our layout component. For this query, since we're not querying an individual dynamic uh, product, we can just query for all of the products. So if we go back over to graphical and grab all merch JSON, I'm going to cut it out to make sure that I've got the right data, which I do. There's just two pairs or there's just one pair of brackets left and go back into VS code. So there's my query. So everything in between. I'll paste that. I'll get rid of my slug and string. And just in case you haven't yet caught up and you're coding this from scratch, just to go through this, we've got GraphQL with our back ticks surrounding it. We've got our query, all merch JSON. We're grabbing the nodes off of that. And then we're grabbing the price slug title. And then the image has a few children which is child image sharp fluid and source. But remember, we're not using source. We're going to use and I think it's actually in our other file, this fragment Gatsby image sharp fluid. So that's going to combine. Uh, that's going to combine uh, a bunch of these, uh, these different pieces all in all in one uh, nice little bundle for us. All right, so we can get rid of page here and just do const merch. We can set our merch 
to be data dot all merch json and that'll just save us a little bit of extra code there um, at the top we can say just products and then we can create a little uh, like individual card for each product so what we can do here is open up a set of curly braces and grab this merch variable so merch dot nodes dot map and then for each individual product we can create a little card so let's return a div at the top of the div we can do like an h2 and we can do the product dot name and then we can do oh not product dot name product dot uh, title and then we can do product dot price Uh, and let's see how that's looking so far. If we go over to merch. Oh, we have this image still here that's not valid yet. I'm gonna just comment this out so we can structure it similarly. Cool, so now we've got our men's tea and our ladies tea on this merch page. So again, not really worried about styling in this um, but we can grab actually let's uncomment this and uh, let's do uh, product dot image dot child image sharp dot fluid and we'll switch the alt to product dot title so what we're doing here is is uh, similar where merch dot nodes and this is an array we're grabbing the image child image sharp fluid uh, from this query let's take a look at how that turned out okay again not great but still gets the job done and then what we can do is add a link so refql and link from gatsby and we can actually let's replace this title with a, a link and we'll do link to equals uh, let's do curly braces a uh, set of back ticks and we'll do slash and then uh, dollar sign curly braces product dot slug and now we've got our link uh, and I noticed the mistake that I made. This is not going to work because I just linked it to men's tea and we want slash merch slash slash men's tea. So all I need to do is go back here and we have our back tick slash merch slash dollar sign curly braces product dot slug. Now if I save that and switch back over and go back, I'm just going to refresh it for good measure. Now I click on men's tea. There's my men's tea. I can click on merch and go to ladies tea. And there it is. So quick follow up again. Uh, all we did was query all of our JSON data and then just map through uh, each, each individual item, creating a little product. Uh, in this case, I guess product area. You could turn it into something nice like a card um, and put some styling and, and some actual effort into making it look nice. But from a functional standpoint, this is about as much as, as you need to do is just map through uh, that information and, and put them out onto a generic merch page. So thanks for watching and until next time, have a good one.